Hello, in this video we're going to see how to do a one-way chi-squared using the legacy dialog boxes in SPSS. We're going to go through both the test of homogeneity when the expected ratios are equal and a test where the expected ratios are not equal. We're going to be using the d example data from chapter 6 in the book and following the instructions in section 6.3.4. Um, here is a cop I'm going to get a copy. Here's a copy of the data. Uh, you can either make this yourself and there are separate help videos and help sheets on doing that or you can download a copy from the online resource center. Let's just take a moment to explore this data file. Here we have, we're in data view and we've got three columns of data. This is the form of the seed, this is the colour of the seed, and this is a combined category. Uh, we've got, the, we can switch the label views on by going to view and then label views, and we can actually see the words. So uh, this is the round yellow uh, seeds. And this, is, this category column here is the data that we're actually going to do the analysis on. Uh, this is, uh, if we go to variable view, we can get confirmation that of the uh, variable label values that have been used. If you go to each of these, you can see what the numbers represent. Uh, anyway, help on that in uh, the separate uh, video. Let's get on with the test then. Okay, so we're going to do, go to analyze and we're doing the non-parametric test and we're going to the legacy dialog boxes and the chi-squared. Uh, I'm going to reset that for you. So you'll see it like this. Uh, you want to send the categories over to your test list um, and because we're doing expected values, all categories equal, we can just leave it on there. Uh, and literally you just press OK. And here you have your observed values, your expected values, and down here the important information in terms of uh, the, uh, the statistic, the degrees of freedom, and the uh, p-value. I also recommend that you uh, report the overall sample size for a chi-squared. Let's uh, go back to our data and redo that with a uh, non-homogeneous uh, uh, expected ratio. So analyze um, where is it? Non-parametric statistics, legacy dialogues, chi-squared. This time we're going to put in the values and we're going to use the ratio 9 add and then 3 add uh, 3 add and 1 add. Now, um, the order this is in is in the numerical new order of the categories in um, in, in the variables. So um, this is the the order is the, determined by the numerical order of the um, values that you put into the variable that you're testing. Let's just, well, we've done that. That's it. We go OK, and here we have the test then for. Um, when the expected ratio is not homogeneity, it's now 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. And we've got our uh, chi-squared value, our degrees of freedom, and our p-value, and our overall uh, sample size. And that's what you need to um, report. Just to go back and uh, review, just to, to, to double clarify on what I said about the order, the 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 goes in. It has to go in in the numerical order of this column. So the 9 will have applied to the round yellow, the, 12, the 3 to the round green, another 3 to the wrinkled yellow, and the 1 to the uh, wrinkled green. If you'd had some other or numerical order here, then you'd have to alter the, uh, the, the sequence in which you put in the expected ratio. But that's it. Uh, go back to the output. You've got there. Um, you've got both the uh, output for the uh, homogeneity and for non-homogeneity for a one-way chi-squared test. And that's it.